in your draft year? How, how do you go about each day? What are your sort of key focuses from the start through to leading up to game day? Yeah, so with a Saturday game, I do like to jump in the pool after, get a bit of cold cold water on, on my legs, which uh, mm-hmm. does does ease the, the soreness a little bit the next day. Um, but on Sunday, I, I do jump back in there and uh, do like some light activity, go for a walk, um, have a little bit of a swim just to keep the body moving, the blood flow. And then I do focus a lot about nutrition. I think that's a really key thing that some athletes may put um, not as important as other things. Um, mm-hmm. So making sure to stay, you know, well nutrition, um, hydrated as well. Big thing is having a lot of water, especially after a game. You know, being through a, it's a pretty heavy, heavy contest during a game and running so many Ks um, to get the hydration in after a game is pretty important. And then leading to the week, obviously you have your sessions, your main sessions, training, footy, gym. I think just to stay loose, a lot of recovery in between them, stretching, trigger balling, those are really important that do go a long way in the end. And then you mentioned the importance of hydration, nutrition. Um, like yep. you said, not everyone um, is, is you know focusing on that area and it takes some time to sort of get to that elite point where you are starting to look at your lifestyle rather than just your training. Um, when did you make the shift? Was it a particular presentation that you heard? Was it speaking to a maybe a, a Brisbane player or, um, yep. or someone that you look up to? Take us through that light bulb moment where you thought, oh, okay, I'm going to start changing how I eat. Yeah, uh, through school, I've always been really interested in human movement. Um, mm-hmm. I was lucky to get my cert three and four in fitness, which has got a lot of base on uh, obviously your training aspects and the nutrition side of things. Um, and then following up at uni, I was doing a nutrition course as well. So those sort of things do to um, contribute to to how I feel about it today. But also, yeah, um, with mum and dad playing sporting backgrounds, and I was pretty lucky enough to at the the Lions boys. Um, train with them pre-season, see how what they eat um, during the day and on their off days has been, you know, stuck with me and I've tried to replicate that. Was that doing, you know, ground balls with bags? Like talk us through the type of training that you did to, to help improve how to use your, your body on the field. Yeah. So, yeah, I did a lot of contested stuff with my dad. Um, pretty fortunate once again that he did know a fair bit in that area and I was able to learn a lot of him. Um, and I recently got into boxing. Um, as an off off legs thing, and that's really helped me embrace contact in contests um, and use my body a lot more with a, mm-hmm. with some movement and that. But yeah, back on the footy side of things, I think if you really focus in on on certain aspects like your ground balls, your contested stuff, your tackling does play dividends. Look at the importance of recovery, nutrition. What about um, from a physical point of view? What are some things that you focus on during main training session um, to get yourself up for to prepare well for the upcoming game? Yeah. Uh, I always try and hit top speed during a training session. I think I'm a big believer in you, you play the way you train. So I always keep training 100%. Um, and not only that, it makes you feel confident going into the week. You know, you've put in the work during the week. Um, so on game day, you just go out there, have fun. So, yeah, make sure to focus on a lot of my skills, ground balls. You know, you can never do too many um, during training. So those are definitely – and being a midfielder, you know, ground balls do happen pretty often. So, yeah, I think it's really important unaware with it you know stress pressure with your foot um yep. what, what's something how do you sort of manage it, your rehab is it uh, one day at a time is it one week talk us through sort of you, you how you set your goals and how you work on progressing through rehab yeah i've been pretty lucky to have a good support system around me for um the rehab of my foot um and we we focused on monthly monthly basis so we put a monthly plan out and tick each day off um about five days of training, two days rest day. Um, so yeah, we just tick every day off and make sure to, um, you know, check there's no awareness in my foot and any of that sort of thing and make sure, you know, everywhere else in my body is feeling good um, mm-hmm. and not overtraining and getting too fatigued and all that sort of thing.